good hey guys so i have a busy day planned and uh my husband and i are both going to be on call so i'm just going to show you how i'm going to get everything ready right now so that all we have to do is put it on the stove fry it up and have a wonderful wonderful meal healthy nutritious right so right here i have a flank steak thawed out I'm just going to cut it in strip pieces really really simple all right so now that i have all of my meat flank steak um cut in strip size pieces i'm going to add it to a bowl just throw it in here in addition i have sliced red onion already sliced up so i can just quickly add it in and the other thing is, if you guys watch me, follow me, anything on Facebook, um, typically I have my onions already cut up, but I have red pepper already sliced up. Why? Because I can just add it really quick to some meal. So I'm just gonna toss this with my hands all together now. And I'm gonna wash my hands and season it up. Okay, so this is where the fun starts, right? So you have everything in here. I have some extra virgin olive oil, and I'm just going to swivel that around, probably one or two tablespoons, pour that in, and I'm going to start adding some spices. So right now I just have onion salt, so about a half a teaspoon, okay? And I don't measure, so if you need the measurements, I'd say about a half a teaspoon. I have cumin, and I'm gonna go for a tablespoon of cumin, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon of ground cumin, onion powder, or chili powder, and I'm going to add a half a teaspoon. So half a teaspoon of onion, half a teaspoon of chili powder. And now I have some paprika, and this is going to be a teaspoon. So, teaspoon of um, paprika, teaspoon of ground cumin, a half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, and now I'm gonna take some salt and put it in there. It's probably about a teaspoon, and I'm just gonna mix it all up with my hands. If you don't like using your hands, use a spoon, but I'm really just massaging all of that into the meat and in to the onions and the peppers. So now I'm just going to cover it, put it back in the refrigerator, and then when it comes time for dinner, I'm just going to throw it on a um, pan and uh, frying pan and just cook it right until the meat is done and the vegetables are soft. So this is a nice fajita mix. You can serve it with, if you want to get some great carbohydrates in, you can serve it with some black beans if you would like. You can also serve it with some whole grain um, brown rice, or you can do what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna use cauliflower rice, and again, use those same seasonings to season up my cauliflower rice, and then have a nice side salad. So that's gonna be a complete meal, and that's what's for dinner tonight.